All right, so lines of best fit are um, estimations, and they can be more or less accurate. They could more or less closely fit the actual data that you collect. Um, but if if the data you collect are um, you know they're kind of unruly, you you could have several different lines of best fit that are you know lines of best fit. So, uh, for example. Here's a kind of made up scenario I'm imagining. Say say like you're interested in the relationship between the number of insect species on an island and the number of bird species. So you have this hypothesis that the more the greater variety of insects in, in an ecosystem, the greater variety of birds can can live there. Because you know, birds eat insects. For example. And you know th those quantities in real life aren't necessarily going to follow a, you know a perfect linear relationship they're not exactly going to form a perfect line if you if you plot them but but you can see a trend there um, so you know so here maybe you know pretend these are the actual observations I make you know I, I, I go to an island and present pretend these represent these, these go in hundreds you know I I observe, I actually observe 100 insect species and, you know, about 250, maybe 240 uh, bird species. And then on some other island, I, I observe about, f you know, 500, uh, 550 insect species and maybe 425, 420 uh, bird species, right? So I, I make all those observations and I, I plot my data points to see if there's a relationship between insects and bird species. And when I do that, you know, I can't really connect, I can't draw a straight line that connects all these points. But what I can do is I can draw I can draw a line of best fit, which is my kind of my best my best shot at making a line that fits these things. Um there we go. So, um this line doesn't really capture kind of these points here right or you know up, up there so um i might actually think that this is a better a better line of best fit right or even 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 that um you know it could probably fit a little bit i mean i think this first line i drew well let's see i think this line is probably the most accurate but you know when you have widely dispersed data points like that it could be hard to get uh, um, you know, there could be multiple interpretations of this. Three different people might draw three different lines of best fit here. So it is an estimation, and you really you have to you have to you have to take your best shot at it, and be okay with the fact that it's not going to exactly capture all the data. You can get as close as you can. So line of best fit, as the name suggests, is an estimation. It's not a line of exact fit. It's a line of best fit. It's the best you can do. And it's they're really useful because in real life when you make observations, not everything conforms to nice little linear relationships like we learned in algebra, right? The things in nature are a little bit more complicated and there's a, you know, there's a lot more things involved. So, but but that being said, it still might follow a basic trend, right? There might be a basic pattern here of in this case, the more insect species uh there are the the more uh bird species there are you know there that trend is there um so yeah so lines of best fit are are estimations and you can they can be closer or farther away from from the observed uh reality